Would you welcome, please, Peter Milet? How are you, Peter? You're very welcome. Thank you very much, Richard. Originally from County Mayo? Yeah. How long have you been over here? I've been here since 1988. Um, been solo all the time. Yeah. Like, uh, before I came, uh, I could have gone with, uh, down the road with a band. Yeah. But I just chose to have the solo thing, be on my own on stage. Yeah. And I bet you're glad you did that now because of the present econ economy at the moment. Yeah, but it has its advantages, all right. But um, the solo act can be—it can be a pretty lonely sort of. Um, lonely on the road, yeah. Of it's not so much lonely on the road. It's 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 it's, it's a lonely on stage as well. Yeah. You know, you're up there. Safety in numbers. Yeah, safety in numbers. But um, the, the other side of it then is like, if there's an applause, it's all for you. Yeah. Uh, whereas yes. a band, the whole lot's there, you know. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Yeah. Now, um, what brought you to, was it Manchester you came to first? Or? Yeah, I based myself in the Northwest straight away. And um, that time, like, it was really difficult. I, um, I had to have some gimmick. And before I left Ireland, there was a friend of mine called Sammy Moore in Newport in Mayo, where I come from. Um, I was buying equipment of him, and he said to me, now you're going over there red raw, nobody knows you, and he says, y you know, you're just, you're going to be just a number. He says, have you got any gimmick? And I says, no. He says, well, what name are you going by? And I says, my own name, Peter Milet. And he says, uh, no, he says, I've got a name for you. He says, Mayo has got the most immigration to England and probably American than any other county in Ireland. He says, you go by the Mayo man. I thought, hey, well, well, fair enough, I'm taking advice from someone that's a bit older than me. And uh, I went with it and it, it did work. Yeah. It was a great... Uh, so you were known as the Mayo man? I was known as the Mayo but man, you, yeah. you've dropped that now, have you? I've dropped it. I, went, I'm, I moved from the northwest to London in uh, 1992. And uh, I made the decision I was going to drop it then because there was more, there was lots of uh, Mayo lads right. on bands and solo around London. I thought, well, it's not fair, me just come by the Mayo man, and I was right. coming in red raw again into, into the, the southern scene. So uh, I decided to just go by my own name. Now, you're very busy because you're doing quite a lot of gigs up and down the country. Um, do you enjoy the travelling? Yeah, I have to say, like, um, I like covering the whole country. Uh, the way I look at it, if you're in the game, you know, it's, it's, um, it's not getting any easier. No. And I don't mind the travelling at all. You, fact, to, you have to be prepared to travel, don't you? You have to be prepared to travel. And I, you know, I have uh, friends of mine, uh, they say, oh God, we have no work now. In the next couple of weeks, the diary is sort of bare. And you just say to him, well, there's a gig in Northampton. The one, fella, <laughs> one fella said to me uh, just a couple of days ago, I said, there's a gig in, in Bedford is, uh, in um, Saturday week. He says, I wouldn't go that far on my holidays. <laughs> <laughs> to Bedford. He'll see, he'll see the day that he will. But yeah. um, it's, it's just that um, it has gone a bit harder. Yeah. But you've got to be harder with it. Yeah. You've got to go out How there. How long have start. you been in the business now, Peter? I've been in the business 25 years. Well, 27 years. Um, 20, 25 years a solo act. Right. But I started off uh, in Ireland with a fellow called John Joyce. Um, he's well known now over there as Paddy Joe. Oh, Paddy Joe, yeah, yeah. And I believe he's appeared in the, the Full Irish. Irish Festival. He certainly is. In a few weeks' time. And um, myself and myself and another guy from Morani called Michael Masterson, who started yeah. off doing the pubs local, like um, Morani. Yeah. And another one in Ackill and things like that. And after a while then, um, I decided to go out on my own. Right. I wanted... Uh, just to see what it was like on me on it. I liked it and I stuck at it. Yeah. Now tell us, you run a very successful agency as well. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, it's um, well, three years ago I set up this agency called Aaron Entertainment and the, the name came from my two sons, Aaron and Ronan, um, half each of the names. And um, yeah, I set it up with a view to um, booking bands uh, for private functions, you know, weddings, things like that. But it escalated, like, I, I, first of all, I thought it was going to be just an Irish thing, but it's gone, it's gone, it's, uh, it's gone into pop, rock and roll, 60s, everything. Right. 
It's just uh, Peter, give us the details of the agency, will you, so we can... It's uh, called Aaron Entertainment. Right, and do you have a telephone number? And the telephone number is 0161 320 Right, and do you have a website? www.aaronentertainment.co.uk Peter, thank you very much indeed for joining us, and good luck with your future career. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you.